Hello everyone, welcome. We're getting in the very like deep cleaning mood today. Obviously we're now in autumn, winter's fast approaching, it's right around the corner. So I want to get the horses stables and like the whole yard just a bit cleaner, get rid of the dust and the dirt that's built up over the past few years. I've never actually used a pressure washer up here because up until recently I didn't have any power up here but I've got a petrol generator now which obviously has made life much much easier so we're just going to empty out the stables take all of the bedding out jet wash everything and then just let them dry over the next few days before the weather really makes it difficult and the horses have got to start coming in so now's like the optimum time to do it if we're gonna do it you know so that being said let's empty the stables this is a little before of Billy's stable. Um, obviously they've been in here today. There's very minimal bedding, like this is not enough bedding for a horse, but in light of the fact that I was gonna be emptying them out, I didn't wanna put any more bedding in. And then McAllister's disgusting, so we're gonna get all of that out as well. And then we'll start, start jet washing. <laughs> and the generator just ran out of petrol so that was that was the end of that and I couldn't be bothered to go and get more petrol and do it again late last night because it was dark and I just I didn't want to do it and I thought I've got all day today so there was that and also I was having like camera problems my memory card just was deleting all of the footage that I was recording so yesterday was not my day Today we're gonna to try again. I've just refilled the generator and checked that it's working, which it is. And I just thought I'd um, show you their stables before we start. So Billy's is looking quite good already, to be honest. And I let the floor soak last night with very liquid on it. I don't know if you saw that or not, or whether my camera deleted it because it hates me. So obviously this one's not been touched by the jet wash yet, but I did put very liquid on the floor and give it a good scrub. So, you know. Let's get cracking. Let's get going again. Hopefully, I'm just gonna try and whiz through this now. Cause I'm kind of, I'm over it. I just wanna get them clean. And obviously filming it is quite hard because my camera is not waterproof. And there's a lot of water swishing around. So let's just see, let's just see what we can do, shall we? <laughs> break I feel like I've done most of it in a minute I'm just gonna give the stables one last rinse down and then I need to tackle the state that the yards in but they're looking pretty good I mean, I've never seen McAllister's door look so clean and not covered in food 
I mean, they're not perfect and they're not going to be because I'm not aiming for perfection. They're horses, they're dirty. They're gonna poo all over them as soon as they go in them for the next time. It's just making an effort to get them clean and dust free. And I think we've pretty much achieved that. Like all of the old food that Billy rubs over here and all of the food, I mean, that's still a little bit grimy, but I can't get all that off without destroying the wood. But for the most part, we're looking very good. Oh, and top tip, um, electricity and water don't mix. The jet wash kept cutting out and I was like, why does it keep going? And I was like, something is broken. And I checked the generator and the fuse was down. So I think it's probably just had a little bit of a shower. I was trying to be very careful not to do that, obviously. I was aware it's a jet wash. There's water that comes out of it. Um, so I felt like I made a considered effort not to get it wet. But I guess some spray must have got in somewhere. And it's just not that happy about it. We've had a very good productive hour or two, however long that's taken. And um, yeah, I feel like one final rinse. I'm, I'm repeating myself, but I'm tired, I'm hungry. Um, so we'll do one more rinse. And then it'll be a case of just trying to get as much water out of the stables as possible, which I'll just sweep it out. And then they'll need a day or two to properly dry out, I think. The sun is shining. That's kind of why I wanted to get it done this weekend, because the weather's really good. And obviously we're now in October, so I don't know how many more days of sunshine we're going to have. gonna go and have a sit down and call that a day because that's got to have been two and a half hours of like grafting and it's quite heavy going to be honest like a lot of sweeping a lot of pressure washing and pressure washing just hurts your arms and makes your hands ache so much because you're constantly holding the trigger down I think you can get some that have like a lock on the button but this one doesn't so I was just alternating hands and now I feel like I've got sores but I have achieved what I wanted to achieve the stables are looking pretty good I've done the yard mostly like I've done I haven't done under that barn because the tractors in and out of there all winter putting the haylage in so that can just stay as it is I've roughly done this part I mean you can see that I've not done it very well but in a week you won't be able to see those lines because it'll be like moderately grubby everywhere and then this is just soaking wet so I feel like we've done very well and we deserve to go and have a little sit down. You know what I mean? Where's Dill? Where's little Dill? I bet he's in. Where's he gone? I think it's safe to say you've been having a good time whilst I've been busy cleaning said it before I'm gonna say it again I'm really tired and my back hurts my arms hurt I've got little rub marks on my thumbs what hole have you just come out of what have I told you about that um I'm just gonna enjoy this nature and it's probably good night I'm just so happy that my stables are done and I can't wait to put their new beds in refill the water troughs and just get it all nice and cozy for the winter. Although it's a lovely sunny day, so that's got me like unrealistically optimistic about the winter. I'm like, oh, this is gonna be easy. No, as soon as it gets cold and wet and everything's muddy, I won't be loving it, so. Anyway, I'm delirious and tired. 
so um ciao for now i really want some salt and vinegar crisps now i had every intention of leaving you wondering if i ever got my salt and vinegar crisps i did um but it's a week later now it's actually the same day that i'm gonna upload the video so i've got to be kind of quick but i thought as the horses are going to be using their stables overnight pretty soon uh, we've got a good week and then thank you dylan um the weather's going to change like thursday this week maybe so i think that's when they'll have to start properly coming in so i thought i'd go and actually put their beds in and get the stables all ready for them to come in i had a few little comments on tiktok asking if i could show how i use my wood pellets so i thought i'll film a tiktok and also it would be good to put it on here as well and you can actually see the finished result rather than just ending the video on a slightly odd note where I'm telling you I want some crisps. Just to reiterate the starting point, just in case any of you had forgotten the work that I did in these stables, this is them empty. There is a little bit of marks on the floor because the horses have been in and I put stock comb tar on their hooves because we were having wet weather. But apart from that, they're still pretty spotless. See? All I'm going to do is just put, I don't know how many bags of bedding I'm going to need, but I've got all my bedding. I bought it in bulk about a month ago. I should have a hundred bags to last me. Hopefully that will last me the winter. We will see. Um, I think we probably need about 10 bags per stable to start. Maybe more. We'll just have to see. So here's my wood chip. Wood chip, it's wood pellets, you silly woman. Wood pellets. Um, those are my wood pellets and um, we're going to get them from there into a nice comfy bed in the stables and um, yes, yes, god nothing better to be doing on a Sunday morning is there, living the dream. For those of you that might not be familiar with wood pellets, I'm gonna say wood chip, I am, I mean wood pellets, just ignore me, I can't stop it. So for those of you that aren't familiar with wood pellets, pellets i find them the best bedding by far to use i raved about them on this channel for a while saying how quick they are to muck out how you don't waste hardly any bedding and they're super absorbent like by far the most absorbing bedding that i've ever come across look at me someone sponsor me please but in order for them to work their best you have to use them in quite a specific way and when you buy wood pellets they do tell you that they need soaking before you use them. The first few times that I tried them, I thought that just can't be true. That sounds counterproductive. Surely, if they're dry, they're going to absorb more urine and they're going to last a lot longer. I was like, this is a false economy, soaking the wood pellets. So I was trying to use them like almost dry. Obviously they're very uncomfortable if they're dry, but almost dry, or I was using them as like a supplement putting them completely dry into a shavings bed and they just weren't doing a lot and I just thought wood pellets are rubbish but they're not rubbish it was me you have to soak them and make sure they are well soaked otherwise they don't work I don't understand the science behind it I don't but if they're wet they turn into like this powder which it doesn't feel wet and it doesn't look wet and it absorbs loads of liquid so just soak them and there are a number of ways you can do it you can either just open the bags and pour a bucket of water into the bag but if the bag has holes in it which quite often they do that's a bit of a not very good way to do it or you can just put them into a wheelbarrow and soak the wheelbarrow and then what you find is once you've got a really lovely deep bed you can like throughout the winter you can add in like a bag of dry pellets into your already soaked and it will just kind of, you'll get a feel for it as you go, but you have to start with a soaked bed. Otherwise, it's just not gonna work and you're not gonna like them and you're gonna think they're rubbish and you're gonna spend another two years using shavings like an idiot, which is exactly what I did. Um, so don't be silly, soak your wood pellets.
those are the methods that I use to kind of soak the bedding. Alternatively, what you could do and what I have done in times of extreme laziness is literally empty all the bags out dry onto the floor and then just get the hose pipe and just give it a good shower. Find what works for you. And then as I said, once you've got a nice deep bed and you're bringing the horses in all of the time, when you get to the stage where you need to add more bedding, you can either decide to add more soaked bedding or add some more dry, but the key thing with it is, is to always make sure you've got a really deep bed. Like the deeper the bed is, the less bedding that you'll waste. So it sounds very counterproductive. And when you've got a really messy or a really wet horse, I know the last thing you want to do is waste even more bedding than you already are. But I promise you by giving them more bed and giving them a deeper bed, you will waste less. You just will, trust me trust me let's check on our lovely lot in the wheelbarrow um so you can kind of see it's starting to really puff up but it's filled the wheelbarrow a lot more now which is why i do one bag at a time not two and then if you just keep giving it a mix as it's going and then you can decide whether to add more water or um whether to leave as is So that's three bags worth of wood pellets. And as you can see, there's some drier parts, there's some wetter parts. And if you just give it all a good mix, that will even itself out. It's not a bad thing to have like solid pellets left in it. I mean, they're not completely solid. They are a bit damp, but that's kind of the consistency that I like it. You know, you have a really exciting life when you have a preference on your horse's bedding consistency. Yay. McAllister's stable has got I think eight bags in it and I'm going to put a couple more in. There's a slight difference in colour in the wood chip because some of it is last year's batch and it's a different brand this year. Although I must say I do much prefer this year's colour. It's much brighter and whiter whereas last year's was a bit brown which I didn't notice at the time. But when you see them side by side stark difference. Billy's stable I've done slightly differently. I've basically just laid 10 bags out, cut them open and poured water into them. And just whilst that's soaking in, you can see there's a little bit of leakage. And also because I was filming a TikTok when I was pouring the water in, I wasn't that precise. So we're just going to let that soak for a little bit longer. You can see it's starting to expand and bust out the seams, like after a big dinner. So whilst we're just waiting for those to um, finish cooking, we're just having a little coffee and we're mourning that our nails are all chipped and disgusting. Why do we have horses? Why? What is the reason? You're just fighting a losing battle constantly. Like, I think we'll just empty these and then see where we are. Because we can always go over it. With the hose pipe. Please excuse the heavy breathing. This has been quite a workout. So I've now emptied all of Billy's bags out and this bedding is quite a lot drier. So I'm gonna get the hose pipe on it. I will say, although it's a lot more work to do it bag by bag in the wheelbarrow, it does come out a much better consistency. Whereas this is kind of like the bottom of the bag was really wet and the top of the bag was like bone dry. So it's just whatever is easiest for you, it's fine because once you've mixed it all in and you can just spray it with the hose pipe afterwards, it's absolutely fine. Just, you get a better result faster if you use the wheelbarrow. So, food for thought. What do we think of the stables? Did we do a good job? Are they all ready for two princes? So that's Billy's, which has just got the new bedding in. Also, let's not talk about that. So that's Billy's stable. Callie's stable which has got like a multi-tonal little vibe going on isn't that lovely I actually much prefer this year's bedding because not only is it a nicer color but you also get loads more in the bag basically cost of living crisis here in the UK my bedding last year this brownie colored one was £4.80 a bag I don't know if that was with that or without that I can't be bothered to find out anyway £4.80 I phoned up this year to place an order and just thought I'd check the price. Eight 
pounds a bag excluding VAT this year which is just obscene so I was like okay no I'm not gonna order that from you I'll find it somewhere else cheaper and I went on Facebook marketplace and found a supplier of this new bedding quite close by the only hitch was I had to go and pick it up and I had to get like at least a pallet so I got two pallets and it worked out at five pounds a bag and actually looking at the bags the new one has 20 kilograms of bedding and the old one only had 15 kilograms of bedding so I'm getting more bedding for less money genius I've absolutely had enough of doing stables today I'm exhausted I'm tired I've, I've just had enough I've reached my limit like 